In this video, you're going to learn how to add an email signup form to the sidebar of your website and also how to add a pop up form. I'll show you how to do this for free, and this will really help you in your goal to build up an email list and create a list of potential people that you can sell your products or service to. So the first step is to log into your MailChimp account and then click into the list that you want to create the signup forms for. Once inside then you want to click on sign up forms and it's in here that you're going to see a couple of different types of sign up forms to create. Now for a sign up form in the sidebar of your website, you can click on embeddable forms and it's in here then that you can change the look and feel of your sign up form. So for example, you can change the title that appears here. You can also show only the required fields, just the email. Or you can show all the fields, you give them the option to put in their first and last name. And you can make some other adjustments there if you want. And then once you're ready, you just need to copy and paste this code onto your website. So what we need to do is paste this code onto our website so that when somebody signs up on our website, the information and their email address will be sent back to MailChimp here and they'll be added to our list. So you can just Control A, Control C, copy all of that. Now what I'm going to show you how to do is how to add this to a, a WordPress website, but essentially the process is going to be quite similar. And if you need a step-by-step -step guide for your type of website builder, just look at the support guides for your website builder. So what you'll need to do is come in to log into the back end of your WordPress website. So I'll just do this now. And then for a WordPress website, you can come down to appearance and widgets. Now the layout might be slightly different depending on the theme that you have for your WordPress website, but I'll just walk through the steps here. They're essentially going to be the same. And you want to really add a widget to your sidebar. So a widget is essentially just a little feature and you can do that by adding a custom HTML. Then we want to copy that code paste that into the custom HTML widget there and click save. And then what we can go ahead and do is just go open up our website because we want to see if this is actually working. And there we go. There is our email sign up form in the sidebar of our website now. Now I will say sometimes it can take a couple of minutes for this to show up on your site and sometimes what you may need to do is actually go ahead and delete your search history so clear your cache so that then these changes will be reflected. So now that we have got the email sign up form in the sidebar of our website let us go back and look at another type of email sign up form you can include. So we're going to come back to our list We'll just start the process again and then we're going to come to sign up forms and then in here we want to do a subscriber pop-up so we want that pop-up you've probably seen them everywhere and so if we want to put something like this on our site we could do that now actually you can change the image here and upload that i've actually uploaded this previously so you can upload a, an image something similar to that you can again change where this appears on the website and it can give you a preview of that. It'll also give you a preview on mobile. Actually, if I was doing this properly, I'd adjust that image. Um, so there's a couple of good things to check before you go ahead. Now you can adjust the settings, like when does this pop-up show up? For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just gonna say immediately so that I can show you it working, but you can time this after five seconds, after 20 seconds, when they scroll to the middle of the page, when they leave the page, etc. So you can adjust all of those things yourself and there's a, a lot of cool things that you can change there, the font, the color, etc. So now I want to view the code because again we want to put, put this on our website so that any emails collected will be added to our list in MailChimp. So we need to copy this code and again we need to put this on our website. Now this will be different depending on the type of website you have, maybe even the WordPress theme you have, but I'll show you how it's done uh, with my one here. So what we want to do is come to theme options 
And then I want to click after I come into appearance, theme options, come to general settings. And it's in here now that I can actually place in header code. This theme is great because it gives me a specific section to do that. So I can just paste that in. And then I want to go and click save changes. Now again, we want to come back to our website to make sure that it's working. You might need to make it wait a couple of minutes. Go ahead and click refresh the page. Sometimes your blog page or your home page can take quite a long time to reload. So sometimes it's easier to come into a sub page. And you may need to click around a bit and I've done that. And now I've come into a, a page, a blog post, and I can see this popping up immediately. So I know that is working and I can maybe go ahead and just test that out. Put in my email. And it, well, I'm already subscribed to this list, but you can see that it will, uh, you can go ahead. And then what you can do is that you can go ahead, sign up. And then what a good thing to do is come back into your list on MailChimp to make sure that had, has been signed up. Now, if you have any problems with any of the code or anything, go ahead and check out the support guides on MailChimp. They are excellent and they have a lot of uh, really walkthroughs that will help you. Um, so it's best if you have any problems to really check out these support guides there. And they've also loaded support guides for different types of sites, etc. So to recap, in this lecture, you've learned how to build your email list faster by adding a email sign-up form to the sidebar of your website and also a pop-up form. So come in to MailChimp, get the code and put it onto your website following the steps that you've learned in this video.